All right, Molly. You made it. How are, we, how are we feeling? I'm feeling very excited. Yeah? Yeah. Is this, like, I guess the most excitement you've had before a race in a while? Or, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why I is think, that? Well, I mean, for one, I haven't, like, actually done a marathon in a very long time. But I think also, like, at probably from after the Olympics, like, through... I just felt so much anxiety going into races that it was really hard to enjoy it. Like before Boston was, I was just in such a bad place, I couldn't enjoy any of it. And I think now it's that combination of like feeling really ready, being excited to do this. It's just a lot more fun getting to come to these things when you're in the right place. It's sort of like you needed just enough time for like that underdog feel to kind of yeah. get back under you. Honestly, I love being one of the slower people in this race because nobody bothers you. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> like, it's honestly great. I should come to these more often. <laughs> well, I was like... We didn't, they didn't have you up there. We needed like a money quote from you. Like that's I what know. You're well, that's what I was saying. That I need to be up there so that because I know M. Sisson, I know that M. Sisson doesn't like those kinds of interviews. So I need to be there <laughs> to just throw out something crazy so that it can like deflect from her, so she can focus on like running an American record or some shit. <laughs> so her approach is going to be, I guess, like Matt Yano. I think might be pacing like yeah. a two nineteen ish group. Mm -hmm. So she might go with him. What's your sort of like race plan coming into this? Like so my race plan honestly because we're using this basically as just like get back in the swing of things like be aggressive but conservative as weird as that sounds so I'm gonna go with Rory Linklater's pace group um, and I think we're shooting for around like 222 223 so if I'm feeling good either like stick with that and then like try and move up a little bit if not I know that Ben Bruce is right behind like about a minute slower on the pace group so I think that's the nice thing about Chicago is you have such a variety of pace groups you can kind of go with whatever which I've never had that in a race before yeah so biomechanically and all that stuff. How are you feeling this summer? Feeling really good. I feel like that's been like the major thing that we've been working on specifically since, because uh, I tore my glute in spring and it was like stuff was just so messed up. I was moving really weirdly. So that's why this is kind of a trial run of seeing how some of this new, like the new strength work, some of the real biomechanical focus is working. So yeah, it's exciting but kind of like one of those things of like, okay, remember that this is a stepping stone. Yeah, I guess Kyle wrote it in the lap count this week. He was like, Molly doesn't need to hit a home run here. She just needs to get on base. What is that sort of Monday when you get back on a plane? Like, what are you going to be happy with? I think if I can go out and obviously like race consistently throughout not do what I did at 20k and go out way too hard and just completely die um, but I think being able to go out and know that I raced smart is a big thing for me because yeah like I'm not out here to go run the American record like Emmett is like I'm out here to try and just have a really strong race and get that momentum going into trials. So I guess for, for this one, like, if, is it hard to contain that excitement, like, already with the vision on the trials for next year? Like, I, for a second, was like, wait, Molly hasn't finished a marathon in a while. Like, is she qualified? You have the hat. Like, yeah, so you're yeah. still good. Yeah. <laughs> you might go into it that's again. what I did last night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that's not how it is. I'm very much hoping that I finish this thing. Um, but, yeah, I think, like, going in, I think it's important, especially, like, as I've gotten older, to realize, like, I'm okay with being patient and waiting for the thing that I want. Knowing that in marathoning you have to have that patience a little bit not to get everything you dreamed of right away. And so like I'm I'm willing to be patient and know that the, like this is a very big day and there's a lot of excitement around it but the, there are really big things ahead next year as well and I need to have the patience to set myself up well for that. Headspace wise like would be what state are you in right now for this one? And like, was there anything different that you did to kind of get yourself right for the, to, to get on this starting line? Yeah, I think this race is very different just because it is a lot faster. Yeah. Than, like, I, I feel like I really thrive with like championship style races, tactical races. I've never done the go out super hard. We wanted to see this from you in 2020. I know, that's <laughs> the problem. And that's what like, it was funny because I felt like back in 2020, I was really in that kind of shape. And when I went out and did London in 2020, just by the nature of the weather that day we had to slow it down quite a bit so I finished that race being like man I'm really frustrated I didn't run as fast as I wanted to so I think this one is being able to go out and have the confidence to know like it's going to be hard from the gun 
it's going to be very different from the other races that I've done, but it's a fun challenge. Yeah. Did you pack all your things this time around? Like, you didn't forget, like, socks? Oh, my and... God. Well, luckily, so we came a day early to make <laughs> yeah, sure that right? I had my bags. There's a Puma store here somewhere. I know, exactly. And so, and luckily, my family is, like, two and a half hours north. <laughs> That's so right. they can, just, can drive uh, it down. Yeah, exactly. They can drive stuff down for me. So, like, yeah, luckily, like... After 20k, one of the takeaways from that was like, I can't pull this shit of like coming in last minute and expecting it to go well. Like, we have to be more prepared and we have to be more strategic about this stuff. Be more adult about it. There you go. Yeah. Appreciate it, Molly. Thanks so much.